Hey, what's going on guys? Hope you're doing fantastic today. My name is Tyson here with Repair My Funnel and today I'll be walking you through how to turn a video into a GIF. Now, why would you ever want to do this? Now, personally, I usually do this for blog posts uh, to better describe what we're ta talking about in the article or within that given section. For example, over here on my screen, you'll see that uh, there's one playing right now walking you through the process of adding the survey app inside of ClickFunnels. Now, the tool that we're gonna be using here to achieve this effect is called EasyGIF. And if we go over to my other tab here, I'll show you what it looks like. Here it is. Now, there are ads on this. It is a free tool. You don't have to pay for it. Uh, so look past all of those on the page. Now, there's a bunch of different things that you can achieve from this site, but the main thing that we'll be covering is turning a video into a GIF. And the main reason why we do this or why I do this is for the size reduction. So a video on a page takes up a lot more room or requires a lot more um, things to load and it also reduces the speed at which your site is loaded for end users. Um, basically, if you don't want your site to be slow, don't use a lot of videos on the page. Instead, try to convert them and, and uh, minimize that with either uh, compressed images or GIFs just like this to better explain the topic that you are trying to explain. So um, in this case, we're gonna do this for a video I created around lesson progress tracking. There we go. All right, just a four second clip. And as soon as we drag and drop it onto that area, it will then pull it up. It has it rendered inside of the system there. And we just have to go down a little bit until we can uh, see the options down here to choose the size. Now for the first option here of size, I usually just leave that to the original up to 600 pixels, uh, but you have the option to scroll down and, and choose something that makes more sense for you, right? Um, again, I usually use the 600 pixel there. Uh, below that, you have the option to increase or decrease the frame rate. The larger or the higher the frame rate, the larger the file is going to be. So just keep that in mind. As of right now, we are currently at uh, 300 kilobytes. So if I go and increase that, there we go. Probably going to bring it up to yeah, like 400. So it def definitely increases the size of the actual file itself. Just keep that in mind as you uh, do this for larger videos. You can technically upload stuff that is as large as 200 megabytes. So now another thing to mention here is that all of these frame rate adjustments have a specific time range that you can use them in. So if a video is under 10 seconds, you can technically use the max here or the 33 frames per second. Um, again, 12 seconds, 15, 20, just be, be aware of what you're selecting here because it will make a difference. And they actually won't even let you do it uh, if it's above that specific max uh, for your video. All right. Anyways, with that pulled up, now we can scroll down and technically you can go in and uh, just download it or save it directly to your computer from here. But if you want to adjust things like the rotation of the video, you want to crop certain things or even the speed. I, I usually will go straight for the speed option here uh, just to speed it up, a little bit of a, a time lapse option, right? Uh, I usually leave it at 150, but use it as you will, right? So if you want it to, to be like 200% there, uh, you can do that and then click on change speed. Once you do, it'll show another uh, and final image down here at the bottom uh, where you can then save it if it's ready to go. Just like that, uh, it'll show the save option there in the middle of the screen. Go ahead and name it how you want it. And then that's it, upload it to your website, upload it to wherever you wanna actually use this and you're all set. Now, hopefully this was helpful. If it was, awesome. If it wasn't and you still have some lingering questions, make sure to let me know down below and I'll point you in the right direction as best as possible. Um, otherwise, have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll catch you in the next video.